How many of you? Thirteen. Brilliant. In a moment, we are live with the Essex diver who took part in that rescue and the legendary director, Ron Howard, who made the film. But let's first take a quick look at it. The entire nation is anxiously waiting for what will happen next. What are you thinking? Just a crazy idea. You've got a skill none of the rest of us have. No. Live then to Leicester Square and Rags Martel is there now. Rags. Thanks, Chris. Well, I'm joined by Hollywood royalty and cave diving royalty. Um, Ron, I'll ask you first. It's based on actual events, a bit like Apollo 13. What attracted you to this story in particular? Well, the, the cinema of it, the, you know, the possibility of actually going into these caves that are never really photographed because it's dark, it's murky, uh, and trying to understand in a, in a, in a, in a, in a really granular way what was required to, to achieve this rescue? Then there was the international nature of it. The fact that this, this, you know, this really rare event that proves something to us. That if the world comes together, remarkable things can occur. If, we, if, if, if everyone could come together and make that happen for these boys, you know, what else could we do? Rick, you've done many cave diving rescues before, but this one was fairly unique. What made this special for you? I mean, this is on a sort of level unprecedented and way, way beyond anything we've done before. I mean, the, the key thing is they weren't cavers. When cavers get trapped in the cave, everyone goes, well, that's, that's their, their fault. But it wasn't the boys' fault. It was young boys having an adventure, uh, and it absolutely captured the world's imagination and, and you know, the, the emotions of, of families around the world. Uh, and of course, it was, you know, they were such a long way in, it was so, such difficult terrain that we were literally writing the operating manual of how to do this because it had never been done. And we're making the movie, and every once in a while we're staging a scene, we're working, I'm on a schedule, all those things are happening. And I turn around and I'd see Rick or I'd see Jason because they stayed with us as technical advisors. They were on the set, not only teaching the actors, but guiding all of us, you know. And I would just, it would blow my mind because I would say, not very long ago, these men were actually achieving this, this miracle. Not to be embarrassing in front of you, but it was a, you know, kind of an out-of-body experience from time to time for me. It's often said that fiction is, uh, the truth is stranger than fiction, yes. but this is kind of so, you know, out there, so crazy, and yet, we, we, as a film, we know the outcome, and yet it's, it's still completely captivating. Well, thank you. I mean, I, what I have learned, going back to Apollo 13 and some other movies based on real events, where you, where you do know the outcome, is that if you can use the scripted, you know, uh, uh, mode, uh, you know, the narrative version, get great acting, put the cameras in the right place, and, and, and offer the audience a, a, you know, a sense on a beat-by-beat -beat level of what it took and therefore what might it have felt like to be there. This is something that sort of goes beyond what you can do in a documentary. And I love them, I make them, there have been great documentaries made about this. But when you, when you do a scripted version, you know, you, 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 can, you can just be so much more psychological uh, about it. And you can engage the audience's nervous system, which is what I tried to do. <laughs> did he do a good job? <laughs> he did. Look, everyone knew the outcome, but nobody really knew the nuts and the bolts of how we did it and what, what we had to go through and the emotion and drama for all, everyone involved, you know, the parents, everyone in Thailand, the, the sort of uh, emotional investment that everyone had, including people watching on the news all around the world. Uh, and that's what really needed to be to come out. And finally, have, have the kids seen it? No, I, I don't believe the kids have seen it yet in Thailand. There's going to be a premiere there and screenings there as well. Uh, and uh, and our Thai cast have just finally seen it. Okay. And they were pretty emotional about it yeah. and blown away. In a good way. Good. In a good way. Brilliant. Ron, Rick, thank you very much. And the film is out in London on the 29th of July. Rags, thank you very much indeed.